So Zach Taylor was asked about Jamar Chase's comments yesterday. Well, Jamar Chase said it a couple days ago. But yesterday he was asked about Jamar Chase's comments. Because, yeah, he said some interesting things. This is what Jamar Chase said if you did not see my video. So if I'm being honest, they just know how to play us. They just know their leverages. They know what splits we are in. They know what we're going to do in certain moments. It's not really like they got a Jalen Ramsey on their squad. And this sparked up a lot of Chiefs fans. A lot of Chiefs fans, a lot of Chiefs players who were not really happy with his comments. He continued and said, We know what we're capable of. Every team in the league does, Chase said. That's why KC doubles us the way they do. He continues to talk about the fact that, you know, he can't throw the ball to himself. So, you know, everyone needs to step up in this game and put their best foot forward. Now, when a receiver of his magnitude says that, of course, it's going to spark some interest from the media to ask the head coach, Zach Taylor, like, what do you think about that? And to be honest, if you have seen any you know, interview with Zach Taylor or any press conference I've done on this channel, Zach doesn't usually respond to comments like that. He just doesn't. He's just a very, very quiet, just kind of misdirects the question, and he just doesn't really like to, you know, either bite into it or be against it. So he doesn't want to go against the player and be like, oh, yeah, that was incorrect, that was wrong to say. Or he doesn't go ahead and bite too much into it where he's like, you know, like, oh, yeah, uh, the Chiefs are nothing. They, their defense is trash. Usually he doesn't do that. Usually he kind of stays neutral and he kind of goes, well, that's Jamar Chase. It is what it is. But he, he actually did respond on Friday to the comments. He said, he's a confident guy, but that's not something I would say. That's one of the best defenses in the league. And I think it was the perfect response. Because again, you know, it's not going against the idea of like saying like Jamar Chase is absolutely wrong. And again, Jamar Chase, he says things just to say things sometimes. He says things to get the rise out of people. He says things just to, you know, get people all riled up and... It's just how he plays. I mean, he does it, and then he'll go out there and have a great game and play amazing. Now, we didn't get a, any type of update on his game status for this upcoming game on Sunday, whether or not Jamar Chase will play. He did process the limited fashion on Thursday and Friday, so right now it looks like he'll go, he's going to play. Maybe a limited snap count, but definitely going to play. We'll see how this ends up going this weekend. But again, like I said, other than the Jalen Ramsey comment, I don't think Jamar Chase said anything really bad. Like, he said kind of the truth. Chiefs know how to play us. They are a very good rival of us. They're honestly probably our best rival, to be honest. Especially when it comes to the competitiveness of both of our games. Every one of our games against them. So, I think he said it in the best way. They're one of the best defenses in the league. He gave, you know, them credit. The Chiefs credit. Which their defense is what's really leading them in a lot of these games. And I'm not even taking a shot at Patrick Mahomes here. It's simply the fact that the Chiefs wide receivers can't catch a cold, it seems like. And because of that, Patrick can't do everything. As, you know, Jamar Chase said, I can't throw the ball to myself. Patrick can't throw the ball to himself either. So because of that, their defense has been really dominating throughout the last couple weeks. All the way up to this whole entire year. Now, of course, again, when you have, like last week in the Chiefs-Raiders game, where Patrick throws two pick sixes, actually, wait, no, I, 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 let me correct myself. There was two defensive touchdowns. I don't think it was two pick sixes. But two defensive touchdowns, when the offense is scoring more points on defense for the other defense than their own offense, that's when problems start happening. But again, like I said, I do agree with Chase. They don't have a Jalen Ramsey. They have LeJarrius Need. He is hurt in this game. We don't know if he's going to play or not. They're also having other players on their defense hurt. So it's going to be a long game for both sides. But I think Zach said it in the best way he could. Again, like I said, he could have dipped and dodged this question and just not responded and tried to you know get away from even kind of looking at this co these comments. But he did, you know, he did a kind of hey, he's a confident guy. I wouldn't say that myself, but I respect the fact that that's how he feels. Kind of comments like that. Now, again, like I said, we'll see how everything 
everything shakes out one Sunday because, you know, you make comments like that or any comments about a team, you got to back it up on Sunday, right? That's just kind of how it works. You got to have a great game on Sunday and see how, you know, everything will work out. And again, like I said, right now, we don't know if he's going to be playing on Sunday or not. I'm going to guess if he's making comments like that, he's probably going to play. And with him being him, I could definitely see 100% he's going to play in his upcoming game. Um, but again, you know, if they got Legere Sneed out there and he's limited, that's going to be a problem. I mean, their defense is what really scares me right now. Like, Patrick Mahomes scares me, but because of the wide receivers being so crap... Obviously, now you have Kadarius Tony out for this upcoming game. They also have Sky Moore, who's on IR. He's been on IR, but he's out. McCall Hardman was injured going into this game. Patrick kind of doesn't scare me as much. Now, Kelsey scares me a lot, but if you double Kelsey and you try to take Kelsey out of the game, the rest of the offense, with Isaiah Pacheco hurt and uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire has an illness, their offense does not scare me. But that defense, ooh. That defense does. And you got to give full respect to their defense. Now, if Jamar wants to put his money where his mouth is, right, and go out there and really show off and, you know, talk his talk, go out there, chase, put up 300 yards, put up three touchdowns, and that's when you're going to be able to talk your talk. And I'm going to tell you right now, that might be the best press conference after a game ever in human existence if he puts up that stat line. I'm not saying he's going to Chiefs fans. I'm not saying 100%. I mean, he might not even play, right? He might not even play at the end of the day. But if he plays and he puts up a stat line like that, that's the way to talk your talk and walk your walk. Like, if you wanted to say, hey, listen, their defense isn't really anything special. They got no Jalen Ramsey out there. You know he's going to talk his talk. Now, knowing Chase, even if he does play, but he's limited and he doesn't have a good game, he'll probably still talk his talk. I mean, we lost to the Browns. He called the Browns the Eve or the Elves, and then we lost to them, and his response was pretty much just, you know, of course I feel bad. I called them Elves, and we lost to some Elves. <laughs> like... It's Jamar Chase, okay? Jamar Chase is Jamar Chase. He's going to talk his talk. How I look at it, man, the guy's not dirty. He doesn't play dirty. He isn't dirty. So if he wants to talk his talk, he can talk his talk. That gives him a little bit unnecessary, you know, fuel for the fire here, I will say. But, man, that's that's football. That's the beauty of football. You have players go out there and talk in a smack talk. But, hey, I want to tell you one thing. If we beat them... If we beat them, I feel like 1,000%. I don't know if it's going to be Mike Hilton or a couple different players, but there's going to be some Browning head being talked about. Not by me. I'm not I'm not getting into that anymore. I'm not getting into that. Chiefs, you know, they're a great team, but there's going to be some players probably saying Browning head. So I, I, it is what it is, man. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.